Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. Today we're going to do another board game unboxing of a game uh, we picked up in December. It's called uh, Newton, and it's by a um, one of our favorite designers in um, Simone Luciani. Oh, he collaborated with uh, Nestore Mangone, um, and uh, it's a game called Newton. And uh, by Cranio Creations, published by. And um, they also are doing, currently doing a game with another science type theme um, called uh, Darwin's Journey, which is currently just finishing up on Kickstarter. I think it's finishing up sometime today, if it hasn't yet. I think maybe early afternoon today. But um, yeah, it's a game that uh, we've been looking at for a while. It's got some similar mechanics to that Darwin's Journey, but um, this one is. Uh, well, you'll see as we open it up and do the unboxing. Um, but definitely a game that's been on our radar for a while. And uh, we finally picked it up and uh, let's unbox it. So let's show you a little bit about it here. All right. Let's see if we can show you there. All right. So there's a picture of the game board and the uh, game itself. And uh, see what it says on the back here. So uh, it was published in 2018. By Cranio Creations. It's one to four players. Uh, recommended ages 14 and above. So it's got a little bit of substance to it. Not not a ton, but um, it's got some good mechanics to it. And it's about 90 minute play time for one to four people. Um, turns are really quick and smooth for the most part. I can see there could be some AP in it with uh, in, a, you know deciding what, what to do um, with your cards and everything. But you'll see that. Uh, Anyway, I'll show you a little bit about the game when we open it up. So, the 15th century is a time of great scientific discoveries as well as creating uh, exciting research into mysterious and yet unknown fields. Competition in the academic world is ruthless, above all for young scholars such as yourselves. In, in order to follow in the steps of the great Newton, you must devote yourselves to undertaking new research and increasing your knowledge in order to become the most highly respected scholar in the world's scientific community. So again, this is a game that's uh, not going to have a heavy theme to it. Um, I mean, there are some similar mechanics and everything that do lend to a little bit of theme, but for the most part, it's mechanics over theme. Um, and it says, Newton is a deep strategic game. You will place your action cards on the on your desk to perform actions, but these actions will increase their value during the game depending upon how you decide to specialize your ability. So engine building, travel through the Europe, visiting cities, universities, and ancient lands. Add several books to your bookshelf and learn new things in academic lessons. Experiment your theories together with your students and study that. Um, Alchemaic Mysteries work hard to provide economic support for your researcher to try to gain the backing of the great contemporary masters. Okay, right, so let's check it out now that we've uh, give you a little background of it. Ideas. Of course, as usual, we'll start with the rule book. So I'll show you all the components and everything on the top. And that's basically what we read on the back of the box. Nice map of the how to set it up and everything. So nice pictures. So I, there is a lot of setup to this game from what I've seen in the uh, playthroughs and the setups and everything by you know different players like uh, Slicker Drips and Hound Solo and um, Gaming Rules and whatnot. Um, those are just a few of them I've seen watch playthroughs of. I know Gaming Rules is one of his favorite games at least of 2018. Um, but anyway this is a great game. 
and it kind of gives you a good description of everything here. It's player setup. So this is your personal player board here on the left. And right here, a little bit of a more of a close up here on how you do your actions and everything. And just different things here, actions work, technology, travel, lessons. study and you have a joker card which can be like a wild requirements volumes and potions quick actions so you have like anytime actions stuff like that uh, and end round phase so this is like cleanup phase i guess you would say you're going to be discarding cards and building your engine and victory points for end of the game so this is for a solo gamer here i guess is so 0 to 40 illiterate all the way up to 120 and above science legend. So there's a lot of replayability and everything with the way the um, tiles and everything and cards come out. So tokens, tiles, and cards, bonus actions, specialization tiles, development tiles, income and medicine tiles, inter invention tiles, city tiles. So there's a lot of tiles definitely, which I like. Uh, special effects of action cards. So basically all the iconography described and what it means. It's really clear, but in case you have a card. And then the master cards, so it describes what each master does, which you're gonna be earning. So these are all based upon um, real figures in history. So you learn a little bit about history when you do it. And then more of the character cards here, Isaac Newton there. So there you go. So that is the rule book. All right, so the punch boards, so decent quality, thickness and everything. Let's check these out. These look like your books. Eh, a little, little on the thin side, but adequate. I've seen, definitely seen thinner, but I've definitely seen thicker too. And here's your money. I'll show you these. So pretty thin overall. But again, that's the back of it. Adequate quality. A lot of brown in this, definitely, you'll notice. Uh, same thing again, some more of the tiles and everything. Back side there. And then more of the same, pretty much with just different tiles. And smaller tiles there in the middle for coins and conversions and everything. Yep. So it looks like these are like that. Potions in here. And then these are the individual player boards here, which I think they're variable a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Maybe not. Yeah, they are. Actually, if you look at the bottom here, one starts up with the T squared kind of thing, a slide goal or whatever it is. And another one starts off with a book here. So that's a little different there. Um, I think the books and everything are the same up top, it looks like. So yeah, just the bottom starts off a little little, little, little bit asymmetric, not much. There's one, two, or three, four of those. So again, yeah, they all start off with this. And what it is, is they're gonna have rounds. You're gonna be placing cards up here. And uh, depending on how many of each symbol you have when you place them, they're all gonna have ones like this. Um, you're gonna have combos and stuff to allow you to, you know, more powerful actions. And then at the end of the round, you gotta be careful because you have a top and bottom of the card, which I'll show you when we get to the cards. Um, but you're gonna have to discard a card and tuck it underneath here. So you're not gonna be able to use that card. So you wanna probably try to use a card um, that doesn't have a uh, top to it, like a bonus top, which you'll see like books or something else. So, cause you're gonna lose each round, you're going to lose one card, but you're going to be gaining cards through other actions too, so I'll show you that too. And then here is the player board. So there's a couple of different, I mean, uh, main boards. Let's just see if I can show you that. Make sure you give me enough room there. Yeah. So this right here is the, I think the university, I mean, the traveling track here. I'm sure it's got a more complex um, official name to it, but you'll have different workers start off down here and you get one to start with, but you'll be going different tracks and gaining bonuses and everything. But once you reach the end of the track, you, you're stuck there. So 
Um, so you're gonna need to get other workers, other students, I guess, students go on these tracks and travel to the different universities and everything. I think, you know, I, I don't think this is the university track. No, this isn't the travel one. This is the, uh, I think this is the education one. So it gives you different educational bonuses. This is one there. And then this one right here is the one where you're gonna be traveling to different universities right here and getting bonuses and, and whatnot. And this is where your victory points are here. So go zero to 50, like a euro. And it's gonna be fees when you're traveling and everything and getting bonuses and stuff you can accumulate, you can, yeah. The backs are pretty much just that. And then here, these are just regular cubes and stuff, which you all unlock bonuses on your player boards, I think. If you look at the player boards, yeah, right here, you'll be putting the cubes on here. And as you cover the cubes here, you'll be getting bonuses and stuff every round. These are like round bonuses and stuff. I think there's some down here. That's just the ones in different player colors. And these are your regular meeples. So it's pretty standard size meeples. Nothing exciting here. Your students. It's a couple of different colors. So just basic meeples. Have you ever seen them? Yeah, they are. Okay. And these are your big ones. These are... I imagine they're probably for your, either for the scoring track. I think they might be for the scoring track. Yeah, it's like there's just one of each. So I imagine these are your, how you keep score. So one, for the colors, pretty standard, just red, green, blue, and yellow. And then you have your two, so have more discs here. Looks like you get two of these. So this is probably for one of the track, a couple of the tracks two in each player color. And we'll open up these. So these will be your main cards. Yes, there's one deck of cards. Which of course will sleep. Uh, so let me see if I can separate these a little bit first. Yes, these are all just cards. And there's different levels of cards you're gonna get. So I'll just show you one of the sets of the player colors just to just to give you an idea of what your starting cards are. And I think everybody starts off with fairly similar starting cards. I know it's one of each um, action. And then, but the tops will be different the second you get in the tops. And I'll show you that. Let's see it. Let's break off one of these sets here. All right, so you start with, looks like one, two, three, five different cards here. So again, that's that T-score thing. And then on top, you'll get the book. So. I'm going to be placing these across your board. So if you get this action right here, if you, if you just have the one, you just take a, whatever this study action, I think it is, and you'll go one on the study track. And then this one is a different type of action and so forth. But and then that's a, that's a book action there. And then here's a joker for a while. So notice a couple of these don't have any tops here. So these are going to be the ones you're going to want to try to tuck because you'll get the bottom use in the later rounds. Um, but, you, but you don't really want to tuck your joker um, because the joker's wild and he's for anything, so that's very kind of valuable to have. But this one, you'll after you go through the first five rounds, like I'll show you here. So you'll take your actions, you'll spread them across here, and then at the end, you'll take one and tuck it right here. So that means this study action is more powerful now. Um, but then if you have a study action here, and let's just say let's just say you play this card right here. So now, see right here, you get two two. So you get two of these, um, this action right here. So that means you can move two places on that track. So then at the end, let's just say in round two, you finish this, you'll tuck this. But now you'll lose the effect of the book, which the books are gonna be valuable for, you know, getting set collection and unlocking bonuses and stuff up here. Um, so you'll collect parts of books and everything. But anyway, that's kind of the basics of it. So this is, so everybody starts off with five, um, cards in their player color, a little different, maybe what's on them, like this one has a blue book, and then this one might have a, uh, yeah, so as you can see, this right here is the blue player, and this one right here is the, uh, let's see, where did I put this? Oh, so this one here is the, yeah, so as you can see, this is the green player on the right, so the blue player had a on this cog thing right here has a book with a pie symbol on it, mathematics, and this one doesn't have anything on it. So they're gonna be a little bit 
um, a little as asymmetrical as far as that goes, the cards go, but they're all going to have the basic action symbols and these different resources up top. All right, so that is there. So we'll put these, and now we'll show you the, uh, this side. I'll show these later. And then these right here are going to be the different levels of cards that you're going to be available in one of the markets. So this would be level one, and that's a book you can get for that. Um, so these are all required, just one level of the uh, learning to get that. And then these right here is level two, so you'll have to require two symbols on your player board to get this. And a little bit more powerful. This can be any book, I think. Um, and then finally, the level three ones are the most powerful ones. As you can see, there's a lot of different actions on these. Just to show you a couple of these. So let's show you. Just go through them just to show you a few of these. So these are the level ones for the most part. This one will give you a coin up top. This one allows you to change a coin into a, a potion, which I think can be used for various things. It's kind of like a wild, I guess. So there's a whole bunch of these, and then we'll get see if we can get to the level two. So this is still level one. Level one. Yeah, level one. Yeah, level two, start with this. So these are some level two ones. So this gives you a book and a coin, and it's a lightning bolt, means an immediate action. You can turn a book into a, into a victory point. Two books on this one. And then finally, I think it's going to be level threes. No, still more level twos. I think this might be level three. Yep, yeah, level three. Three books on that one. So more powerful actions on these right here. tell when it switches back. I think this might be the yeah, level one now. There you go. So a nice size deck here, level one, two, and three. It's going to be about 15, 20 cards for each level. And then finally, these are your character cards or your, your uh, what do you call them? Um, master cards. Not the master card, credit card, obviously, but let's see if I can get these out without cutting these do not have the little pad which you can pull but there should be enough given here so I can pull these out <laughs> don't really have any fingernails let's see if I can get this off here let's see there we go alright so I'll show you the master cards so this give you special bonuses when you get to them like right here this is Robert Boyle. This guy gives you two books, I mean, uh, blue books. This guy gives you four um, these symbols, I think, in order to purchase cards. Stuff. This guy gives you a one time bonus, a media bonus of six coins. So, some immediate bonuses, some ongoing bonuses. Looks like a lot of them are um, immediate. This guy gives you three potions. Fahrenheit, of course, you know him. Galilee. This guy gives you, looks like a right uh, media bonus and then an ongoing bonus here. And he gives you another student here to go on this university track and so forth. Isaac Newton gives you two green books. This guy gives you three Joker, so that's good. Each action is more powerful. I think that's just for one action you can do it with. So immediate lightning are one and done, I think, type actions. So some women here. And there you go. So it's a diff different, a different uh, masters that give you, why well, basically break the rules and get some more powerful actions. And then a few, actually quite a few, because there are a lot of parts, classy bags. So that is pretty much it. That is Newton by Nestore Mangoni and Simone Luciani. Uh, thank you for joining me for this unboxing, and uh, as you can see in the background, those are just a few. We have probably at least six, 10 or 11 games. We've really got an influx of games over the last couple of months, 
uh, which you have you get around to unboxing, but you'll see many, many more of these coming up. So if you like the unboxings, give us a thumbs up and give us a like, or a like, and subscribe to our channel too for uh, eventually doing some board game um, playthroughs. Um, we plan on doing those very soon. I know we got a request to do the Twa Dice. We'll probably do one of those soon. And um, we'll see what else we can get to. If you have any, uh, if you've seen any of these unboxings and like to see any playthroughs of any of the games, we'll work on doing some of those. Uh, there you go. So it's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming with another board game unboxing. Take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next unboxing video. Bye bye now.